antimicrobial resistance, AMR, basically bacteria becoming resistant to all of the antibiotics that we have in our arsenal, is becoming a growing threat. And I recently read several books that kind of touch on aspects of this AMR, and so I thought I would share Miracle Cure by William Rosen. This details the kind of birth of antibiotic industry, where the first antibiotics were discovered, and then how they were actually taken from that initial discovery and made into products that can be sold to people and then how that led to regulatory agencies being developed and all of these manufacturing things and kind of the whole birth of big pharma was based around the birth of these antibiotics and so it's a really interesting book it got fairly dense at times and at times I was bored which is saying something for me but it was really interesting and it was kind of like uncut because these forefathers of like this pharmaceutical industry and all of these like great antibiotic researchers they, they were really petty and it was it was it was interesting and it was a little disturbing but speaking of disturbing growth of the antimicrobial resistance is definitely disturbing and so this book biography of resistance by muhammad zaman it is really great because it talks about how the overuse of antibiotics and the inappropriate use of antibiotics and all of these things led leads to the resistance of bacteria and some of the strategies that bacteria actually have evolved to to get around these antibiotics but then it also tackles things like the broader societal perspective because this problem of this antimicrobial resistance is largely a societal and economical problem and so it needs to be addressed from this more holistic perspective and if we want to combat it one of the ways that we can combat these bacteria that are resistant to the antibiotics is the use of phages so bacteria phages viruses that infect bacteria and so two books on this are the perfect predator by stephanie strathy and the good virus by tom ireland the perfect predator is really interesting because this scientist her husband actually got this infection that became resistant to all of the antibiotics and she had to go jump through all these hoops to try to get phage therapy and the phage therapy ultimately saved his life. But it talks about not just phage therapy, but also some of the challenges of implementing phage therapy. The Good Virus by Tom Ireland also goes into phage therapy, but it goes deeper. It goes into the research into phages and it goes broader. So not just phage therapy, but also phages natural role in the environment, how they're found, potential uses, not just in medicine, but also in things like food manufacturing and other industries and so this is a really good book these are all really good books and i recommend you read them